because the card that actually came out for the next seven day for us is the spiritual partnership card. Isn't this a beautiful card with all of that purple? It talks about royalty. It talks about power. It talks about the DNA um, and the bloodline we come from, which is from the ancients, right? Um, this power purple, beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, the brown in this card um, represents organization and it represents history. It represents the connectivity to um, the ancients. It represents that wholesome feeling, that good feeling. Um, it also represents like um, warmth, stability. It represents positive traits in friendships and, you know, comadres, collaborations, um, and love and support and wisdom, all of the good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that brown color is beautiful. When it pertains to friendships, it does talk about the love and the support and the care and the wisdom of others, the patience of others and yourself, um, where we would applaud those friendships, right? They're honest friendships and they are reliable people. They are people that we would hold in high esteem, like our, our ancients, all right? Our ancient mothers and fathers, our soul sisters and soul brothers, people who have walked um, before us and people that we actually know from the many different lives that we have lived, okay? Um, the white talks about purification and the orange talks about the sacral chakra, which is creativity, sensuality, playfulness, um, and that good feeling. Of course, there's a polarity to everything, right? There's a flip side to everything. So it depends. My guides are saying it depends on how you want to it to be. It's your own perspective, right? We all have free will. The brown, <laughs> it's giving me bring your own bag. I don't know why they're giving it to me like that. For some, they may feel that, you know, it's a boring color. It's a predictable color. It's too comfortable. Depends. It depends. But this is what we have. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for all of your love and support. I want to say thank you to everyone who has supported me and given me any token of love. It's truly appreciated. So this is going to be a message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart, there could be a word in this for you. Only take the message as it resonates and as it applies. Okay, Aquarius? Rose could be reversed, but block transpose. All are welcome here, including the cross watchers. These are never, ever gender specific. So you could be in the music industry or you have a lot of music um, happening around you. You could be humming um, a lot. You could be listening to music. You could create music. You could be a, a producer of music or um, something like that. Okay. Oh, Empress, beautiful energy. <laughs> okay, this is beauty. This is growth. This is wisdom as well and experiences. This is all about um, wifey material as well, but it's the divine feminine energy coming out first, okay? So you may be very much in touch with Gaia as well. I'm also getting that somebody, somebody's going to be impressed by you 
or someone's going to impress you. You know, the spiritual partnership, I didn't even get around to this. This has, um, it's connected, okay? Spiritual partnership talks about a person who may be coming into your life as a friend, okay? But someone we care about. We, we can adore and love many different people. This could even be your guides or your angels developing a partnership with them because they are in alignment with you. They will have similar life direction or there will be similarities which bring you together and then you begin to grow and learn from one another. Okay, and there's like an even exchange of energy between the two. Sometimes there's an interchangeable energy between the two. So sometimes you could feel like you're the leader or teacher. And at other times you will feel as though you are the student. Okay, so it's interchangeable energy. Energy is contagious right and so that's why we always want to make sure we are at you know at minimum keeping some people around us who have more knowledge who are elders who are wise so that we can learn from them um and they can learn from us as well so yeah this is a very beneficial um partnership and it could even be with your guides or an angel, a guardian angel, or some deity that is around you. But somebody is um, impressed by you and vice versa. Spirit, what messages do you want Aquarius Nation to know, please? Ooh, Einstein. <laughs> Beautiful energy. Yeah, like I said, somebody is very, very impressed. And um, it could be you, all right? You both may be very much impressed with one another. The way you think are in alignment. You don't have to be exactly the same. It's not like it's your identical twin. It is somebody who um, is witty, strategic, um, innovative, and they know how to solve problems and they look at life in an eccentric um, way, just like you do with the Einstein energy here, okay? Yeah, um, this is creation, all right? Creation, just as the Empress is, spirit angels and ancestors, please provide um, some more messages for Aquarius. Here, what else does Aquarius need to know? Saturn okay so you could um, have a Saturn return but yeah there's lessons whatever this is um, is this person or deity is in your life to uh, teach you lessons and how to grow elevate and evolve okay you could be having your Saturn return during your birthday this year, okay? We know that Saturn is one of our rulers. Great thing about Saturn is um, Saturn always leaves a gift, okay? Um, Saturn gets a bad rep sometimes. Um, not to say Saturn energy isn't strong, <laughs> but Saturn always leaves a blessed gift. And I feel that this is going to be a beautiful year for you, Aquarius, okay? Angelic support, yes. Absolutely. This may be your angels. There's an energy that I've been feeling since earlier today, um, actually since this morning, is there's something about um, light codes here for you, okay? So there's an overall energy about light, light codes. And um, you may have heard that terminology, um, but basically it is a plethora of information coming in from the vast universe that encourages us to expand, okay? It actually helps expand the consciousness to, to growth, 
Empress Spurs Carnal to continue to grow and to understand what we don't understand about ourselves, to get more information about ourselves, to find out information about our past lives as well. Because literally um, in earth school, we may get it twisted that it's only about the third dimension, what we can see, touch, feel, materially especially but it's more than that <laughs> and i feel with saturn being here this angelic support this einstein energy which is like einstein is like the brainiac that a lot of people couldn't even um einstein was beyond um mathematically inclined as well so some of you you're really really good at arithmetic formulas um innovation creating formulas perhaps there could be something here about an invention of some sort i don't know it will be different for everybody somebody may have like different ideologies you think out of the box. You're very different is what I feel, okay? Okay. Some of you, you may have Cancerian in your chart. You could have um, Taurus, Libra, Gemini in your chart. You could have Sagittarius or Aries in your chart. You could have Capricorn in your chart with Saturn here. Light codes are activated also through healing. With the number uh, 27 breaking down to the 9 here, there is a wounded warrior energy here. And you are growing, Empress. Divine feminine principle. Rather, you are a male or a female. It does not matter. Okay? Um... Let's see. Let's bring some cards out, please. Spirit, angels, and ancestors. Let's bring out some cards, please. Let's see. Um, the person coming into your life could be um, a Capricorn. Or a Gemini, someone who likes to talk, someone who's very expressive. It's faded energy is what I feel. Okay, yeah. No drama. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, um, there's also the energy here that you are going to have this support that um, it's not it's not that you're going to have to, you're not going to have to be the, the quick-witted one. You're actually going to want to understand. I feel because the Knight of Swords not only represents drama for me, but it also represents someone who is quick-witted, but they don't know everything. They come in fully charged with what they um, know, but then they take what they know and they make it the whole story. And there's always more to the story, if you get what I'm saying. With it coming out inverted, this is literally the empress energy um, being wise enough to slow down and listen. Not feeling threatened by this other entity, deity, or person coming into your life. Whatever the situation is, you're not, you're not um, intimidated. You're not feeling pressured by it. You want to take your time. It's the energy here where you want to travel the path less, the less traveled path, however they say that, okay? I'm also getting here that you're a great navigator. All right. You're a great navigator of energy here, okay? You don't need the messenger to... 
Yeah, see, you are a great navigator, the Six of Swords. And that's because um, your wisdom. Yeah, so you're growing. It's growing. You're growing, you're elevating, evolving with the Six of Swords. You could literally be traveling. It's not... It's not hard to do. It's it's easy. It's it's not a challenge to do this. It's not it's no drama. Okay? It isn't. It's easy sailing. Is what I see with the six of swords. You're easily coming out of choppy waters to the sun. With the Empress energy here, it's like you're you've learned, you've learned how to travel. You're a great navigator of feelings of judgment yeah you're you're able to judge the energy and maybe that's because of these light codes maybe you are elevating and ascending like you're not even worried this is easy breezy okay six of swords this is your angels moving you towards the sun um, out of choppy waters, okay, to a new land. Some of you, you're traveling to a new place. Some of you, you may be um, going on a cruise or you may be navigating the waters in, 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 in real time here. You could be canoeing, you could be going by a waterfall, you could be fishing, you could be kayaking. The water is going to help you. I'm also getting blue, all colors blue dark blue, navy blue, turquoise, aquamarine. There's healing with this too. Okay. Yep. See? Happy squirrel. The squirrel prepares itself for happier times. This Einstein um, is giving me the energy here where you're actually um, preparing. You're preparing yourself for your future or Saturn is helping you to do that, but it's preparing yourself for happy times here. Yeah, with the chariot. Preparing yourself to propel towards greatness, goodness, okay? <laughs> goodness gracious, oh my. <laughs> Um, with the chariot here, this is another travel card. So some of you, you could be being activated when it pertains to whatever it is that you want. There's this super duper healing that's taking place. And I feel it's either you and these entities, deities, or people that you are running into. It is faded. Okay. And there's going to be more than great minds think alike kind of energy. It's, there's also going to be simple solutions. Someone's literally going to help you move forward here. Someone's helping you or your ancestors, they're helping you to move forward here. Oh, wow. Six of Cups inverted. Yeah, moving on from the past. Someone's not going to hold on to past energies anymore. Someone is moving mentally, spiritually, emotionally. There's healing here. There's also the energy of literally moving from one environment to another. I feel that you are receiving the downloads. You are receiving the signs and synchronistic uh, energies that are available to you. And so I feel that you have been being prepared for this move, so to speak, for this upgrade, for this internal movement that you have going on. You have been preparing yourself here with the rainbow right there behind you. I feel that you see it. You see the signs. You see the signs. You see the synchronicities and you've been preparing yourself strategizing, making chess moves, even when it pertains to, you know, the things that we can see, touch, and feel. But somebody is moving beyond the 3D and has 
already moved beyond the 3D. But every time we skip timelines, it seems as though there's a space where we're supposed to learn something about that time. And sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's not so fast. It depends. But I, I feel that there's healing here with this chariot and there's um, there has been a, a rest stop where you may have discovered some things from the past, but whatever those patterns were, whatever those issues were, it's like, you got it. You got it. It's like, aha, uh -huh, I got it. And now you can move forward. You can continue moving forward here. You know how when people, places, and um, things, you know how they say people come into our lives for a reason, a season, or a lifetime? All right, something has been around you for a very long time and it's caused a bit of disruption is what I feel with the Knight of Swords being here. It caused a little bit of destruction. Um, well, I don't want to say destruction, but it caused disturbance mentally, emotionally, physically. There may have been some harm done because I see six swords with this sword is seven of swords. But somebody's letting something go and moving forward with the Six of Swords. They're no longer caught up in their mind about it. They're no longer bound to something, especially with the Six of Cups inverted. And with the Chariot right there, um, there's preparation for you to move upward and onward to victory. Okay. And then with Saturn here, there's... You're being asked to look at what's going to make you happy, Nine of Cups. You're being asked to look at your future. But you've been preparing, so something may have changed in regards to your preparation or your strategy. Maybe this person coming into your life, they have been through similar things. They have experienced similarities. You're, you're on the same path with someone else is what I see. And it could be three people. There could be a trinity here. Okay? Six of cups, nine of cups. There's three of cups lingering, which talks about celebration, good times, social lights. And it's, it's almost like <laughs> you may be learning the lesson to um, trust others or... Trust where you're being led. Trust, trust, trust. It's, it's almost like surrendering to the divine here. But it's like surrendering to the spiritual connection, surrendering to the divine. Something about surrendering. But I'm also getting the hangman talks about I'm going to get another card for the hangman. So this card wanted to show seven of cups and the strength card and the devil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. High priestess and the queen of pentacles. Wow. A lot of cards. Okay. Before the hangman. Yeah. So spirit is asking you to. Trust that you're going to make the right choices because I feel that somebody is being asked to um, to surrender to the abundance of this this these deities, people, friendships. There's reward and abundance with it. It comes with this. All right. <clears throat> Somebody's used to being solo dolo. Somebody's not used to trusting people because of their past. Is also what I feel. Um, I feel the spirit is asking you to trust that you're going to make the right decision um, and asking you to see something in a different way. See the confusion or the illusion in a different way. There's something about the past that, like I said, there was something that was kind of 
disruptive and it kept you in uh, some type of fog here. But you learned the lessons. The, the lesson here with Saturn is how to get your wishes to come true. So with the Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups, that's a Ace of Cups, which talks about love, friendships, healing. With the Strength card here, it tells me that uh, somebody needs to be courageous enough to allow, all right, that like not to hold themselves back, but to actually engage. And for some reason, um, it's like, <clears throat> I don't know. With the devil here and the angel, I mean the um, high priestess. You could be meeting a Capricorn or a Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, energy is here. All right. I, I'm getting that there's something that you're learning through your Akarchic records. There's something about um, the past. Six of Cups inverted. Remember we were just talking about being a great navigator and moving through certain ley lines. Ley lines are straight lines that go it's one part of the earth to another part of the earth and it's like there are packets of energy in these in this coordinates to the other part of the earth and sometimes what whatever part of the earth it is it could be right over there okay but usually there are ancient um landmarks and um places that are historical just like we talked about this brown color being history and the connectivity to that history is something like that here it's something about your past and the connection that you have to it and it could have been lives ago right past life ago okay or it, it could have been recent past or many many years ago past that you do not remember that's why the high priestess is here to give you the memory of who you are, where you've come from, what has been in your DNA with the Capricorn energy here, talking about hierarchy energy. Um, and with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this is all about what you're supposed to be giving yourself, okay? Or how this person is going to help you get to where you're supposed to be. Queen of Pentacles is a very high vibrational energy. Um, an energy where they're very social. Like children love them. The neighbors love them. Um, elderly, the young love them because they give so much of themselves. They do. They feed the homeless. They, they always have, you know, more than enough. They're very generous. This is the other side of the power couple, okay? This is the catch, all right? Um, someone who is patient, someone who is grounded, someone who is slow to um, criticize and slow to judge as well. I feel there's something that is being revealed to you through the Akashic Records, and you're going to know. You're going to know that it's the right people, places, and things for you here. Spirit wants you to look at this, okay? And surrender to what's going to make you happy. And I guess that will be different for everybody, right? But, you know, the Nine of Cups talks about a wish fulfilled and being very delighted within themselves. And, you know, the Nine sometimes talks about solo energy. So, again, I do feel... There's an element here where you're going to love these people. You're going to love the energy. You're going to, you're going to love it. It could be a job. You're going to, you're going to embrace it. You're going to enjoy it. <laughs> and it's, it's meant to be that way. Um, I see two of cups here. So there are new soulmates, alliances, groups, and um, soul families coming towards you. And 
I feel that they're going to see something within you and you're going to see something within them. I also feel that there could be a new sibling, cousin, somebody that you didn't know that you were even, that you were connected through the DNA, but you are. There's also something here about tribal, okay? So it could be Native American um, in some shape, form, or fashion is also what I'm getting. I'm getting that you're going to be intuitively um, connected to someone as well. And it's going to bring you, it's going to bring you an abundance of what you need. You're getting what you need, Queen of Pentacles. Not only um, materially, but definitely materialist, materially, um, but also health-wise in regards to joy and happiness and smiling and um, stimulant, stimulant energy regarding your intellect. And I feel that your intuition, like you're going to know, okay, whatever was hidden, there's something about your Akashic Records that's being tapped into here. And um, you're going to know some things here, okay? This person, you're going to be able to speak your truth to them. I really feel there's going to be some type of healing orientation here as well, all right, um, for yourself and others. Like I said, uh, um, energy is contagious. We know that. But when it comes to light codes, we can um, transmute energy through the light codes as well and get activated through other people. Let's see, what's this angelic support? And it's the footstool to this whole reading. So let's see, what is this angelic support? Let's put it back here where it belongs. Angelic support spirit, please. The four of pentacles. Yeah, the angels have been helping you to open up, heal, and um, get, you know, three of pentacles. Yeah, open up, heal, get at, um, financial advice, getting better financial footing here. Um realizing there's an energy here where the angels are literally helping you regarding this three is a trinity energy, okay? And other than that, we do see this energy of talking, conversing, texting, um, documents, okay? Negotiations. Um, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. People getting a leg up, people helping one another, okay? Where you may have felt like you needed to do it all by yourself. Like I said, with the four of pentacles and the three of pentacles, this is seven of pentacles. Um, you're going to weigh the pros and cons in regards to associating yourself with these people is what I feel. Yeah, you're going to think about it over and over. Like I said, there's the energy where your angels are literally helping you to break through this energy, to break free of this energy so that you can get all of this. No drama, okay? Um, freely navigating this energy. You're, you're navigating your emotions well. There's an energy here where you're a great navigator, okay? With the help and support of your guides, with the help and support of, um, yeah, ooh. Somebody was so afraid. Yeah, but see, here it is. Okay, so the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords, that's progress. We're, we're breaking through here. And you may have had some fears because of past experiences. All right? But this is, this is, this is an illusion, right? And there may have been words that needed to be stated over and over, like mantras, affirmations. But this could literally be somebody very worried, maybe having nightmares or something like that. I don't know. But there's a breakthrough. With the eight to the nine, again, like I said, that's progress. And with the ace of swords lingering here, we're getting clarity. Some of us are getting clarity in our dreams. Maybe your angels have been coming to you in your dreams. And now you are realizing what the signs and synchronicities are all about. 
with the page of pentacles i feel like your guides this angelic support is giving you proof there's proof in the pudding here because the eight of swords to the nine of swords there's an ace of swords that's lingering here the four to the three of pentacles is an ace of pentacles lingering here. So you have an ace of pentacles and an ace of swords. It's like spirit God source, the universe is giving you information through those light codes. There is confirmation, a plethora of information, and you're literally going to see proof. When the proof comes, it's like, uh-oh, am I doing the right thing? Am I really giving myself what I need with the devil and the high priestess here, you're going to realize that you are. You're going to realize that you have been fully supported through this journey here. You've been navigating this energy well, even though it may not feel like it, whether you believe it or not, okay? Yeah, somebody is coming into your life here, okay, with the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is my spirituality card, um, but it can also be like a knight in shining armor energy, right? So let's see. Um, what else are we bringing out here? Let's just bring out some advice. Or let's sum this reading up here. Bottom of the deck, we do have the queen of wands with the library here and the nine of pentacles. What I'm seeing here is Spirit is asking you to be bold. Spirit is asking you to see the sign synchronicities of the magical touch that you have. Spirit is asking you to see that you are capable, that you are more than enough, that you can do it all. You really, really can. Whatever this creativity is about for you, okay? It's, it's this Leo energy asking you to be brave and courageous, be bold, and step into the limelight here because there's actual growth that's going to happen for you. But there's also, this could be the other person that you're meeting, okay? They could be, like I said, a Sagittarius energy, an Aries energy, or even a Leo energy. They may have a plethora of information for you. You could meet this person through work. You could have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus in your chart, or you could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart. But at the end of the day, there's a plethora of information from the Akashic Records that is waiting for you. And it's bringing up times of the past. It's bringing up um, things that you need to know. Okay? Like I said, Saturn always leaves a gift. There is a f wish being fulfilled by the end of this. And there's smooth sailing on to the next. Some of you, this is all about um, collaborations and business, okay? Look at this. Number three again. Astral travel. It says here that caution is needed. Let's see. Ooh. And then we have secret temptation. So that's why this devil is showing up as well, okay? Being led astray. That's why you're worried. That's why you're confused. Because like I said, in the past, you were led astray. Something was very um, disturbing. It, it wasn't for you. It wasn't meant for you. So that's why you may be thinking about, um, you know, what has happened before and you're not wanting to um, have the same, you know, you don't want to have the same kind of effect. Some of you, you were burnt by a Leo is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, with this energy here. Okay. I'm, I'm saying you were double crossed or you feel some type of way about a Leo. This is a Leo card. Usually, this is my Sagittarius card, but you can see the Mayans on the side of this um, here. So, let's just see. That's what Spirit gave me. But you're in between worlds, okay? You're literally moving forward. You're a great navigator. You really are. You're moving forward into a new direction. And then we also have this Dark Knight of the Soul. Life brings new meaning. 
Okay, so like I said, there could be a Capricorn coming into your life and they may be activating you or that you're activating them. It could be anybody. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but I see Capricorn energy here. All right. There's also Virgo and um, Taurus here. Okay. But yeah, let's read this astral travel with the Trinity energy here. Astral travel can be described as a willful out-of-body experience, allowing a person to observe their physical surroundings, entering the gateway to the astral plane or astral realm with intention is a careful practice that must be aligned with intention, clarity, and soulful purpose. A sacred portal to hidden realms assessing the astral body allows you to travel and experience different realms of the consciousness and universal experiences. Clairvoyance, psychic abilities, and spirit communications all require astral realm connections. The Akashic records exist within this realm and are guided by I'm sorry, are guarded by sacred light keepers. Okay. A lot of synchronistic words, right? And confirmations are coming up here. With any astral travel, it is recommended to have a travel buddy with you, such as an ascended master or an archangel for added spiritual safety. Primarily, an astral experience allows individuals to be an observer, a witness to surroundings such as environments. There it is, light codes, right? Um, ley lands. Mm -hmm. um, a witness to surroundings such as environments, past events, people, and our own forgotten experiences, including those long before our physical sense of visual or memory recall. Mm -hmm. Returning from an astral experience can leave everlasting impressions in our wakening state or it can leave you physically out of balance. While the soul is still te tethered to our physical body via an invisible energetic silver cord, anchoring the soul back into our physical body often requires a physical reset through spiritual or holistic practices. Astral information and experiences are affected by fear-based thoughts and energy frequencies. So keep your vibration high and alert your senses to any unwanted energetic connections that can influence you in a negative and spiritually abusive way. Right now, you are being asked to keep your spiritual radio tuned in to listen for wanted or unwanted interferences. Mm -hmm. So you want to basically um, make sure that you are tapping into what fills you up with... Um, the higher frequencies and not the lower frequencies. Okay, Aquarius. Observe your surroundings and be aware of manipulation by others through psychic energies and keep sensitive information confidential. The angelic assistance in this card is Archangel Michael, spiritual protection and safe travel. Your affirmation is, I am divinely protected. My soul is safe to explore my path with ease and grace, which you are. You have angelic protection right here. 
angelic support right here. And it's crazy because this, this book does say that the, um, the astral traveling is, um, you know, it's very important when astral traveling to have um, spiritual support through your angels, your guides. And if we go through the travel through with fear, it's really hard. We can be imbalanced, right? We could be off balance. We can feel drained. We can feel weary and nervous and fearful. And so, like I said, this here is the footstool to everything that's happening upward and so now some of you you were doing this astral traveling thing and it, it was um in your dream space or even in your day space your awakened state you were remembering the past is what i what I, what we were talking about now this is being broke through there's a breaking through there's a breaking free okay there's breaking free here but it was a rough a rough time right a rough time to go through this holding back not trusting people and literally being being shown proof that you're able to move forward you're able to go through a new timeline here and like i said spirit has been happily preparing you you've been being prepared for the rainbow okay you've been being prepared to get on this chariot and move upward and onward here is literally what I see. All right. And with Saturn here, you've learned a lot, but spirit is saying now it's time for you to learn to how to actually achieve, obtain and sustain these wishes. There's also the energy here that we won't overlook. This is all about your DNA. And like I said, the Akashic Records and you receiving information about past lives, about past experiences and how and why and all of that. But there's also the energy here where someone may be um, afraid or confused because it's like, how do I know that I'm making the right choice? How do I know that I'm not being tempted? Right? How do I know that um, I'm not being tempted. Well, with the strength card here, the strength card is like grace, okay? Grace. Spirit God Source gives us the strength to overcome the devil energy. And so it's like you're going to have the strength, the willpower, and the insight with the high priestess here. You're going to have the spiritual knowledge and willpower to overcome any temptations. You're going to know if it's what you want or not. Okay? And so I feel, again, with the Empress energy here, your guides are very impressed. Okay? Very impressed. You are a great navigator. You're not going to just listen to someone who comes in with the drama and you know like i mentioned earlier the drama card is somebody who has half information they have some information but they don't have it all and i feel that this is like a know-it-all they're giving out information in a brash way and it kind of you know it's it's kind of it's kind of immature and so if rather this is you know your outside noise or inside noise um, you're going to be able to see it for what it is and navigate these waters, okay? So you don't have to, maybe, you know, you don't have to worry about that. You don't. You don't. You're resolving issues here is what's happening. The number 1313 13 is significant. Um, you might want to look that up. And the number three the number two, and the number seven, okay? So this is what we have. Until next time, I hope it was helpful.